Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my Space Invaders tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to create a Space Invaders clone inside of Blitzmax. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set super strict at the top so we will obviously be forced to declare all of our variables. And the next thing we need to do is we need to establish our graphics. Now you guys can use any resolution you want. Um, However, for the sake of this, I'm just going to use 800 by 600. So you can use any resolution that works good for you. Okay, now the next thing um, we're going to do is we need to create a main loop. And we will use repeat until app terminate or key hit key underscore escape. So basically our, um, what our main loop is doing is it will continually running everything inside of here until either the app is terminated or escape is hit and we can build this now and we can see we have our little window here and if we hit escape it closes and we'll rebuild it again and if we click the X in the corner it will close out. Okay the next thing we need to do is we need to set up a few things inside of our main loop. The first thing we need to do is we need to use CLS and this will clear the screen and the next thing we need to do is we need to flip our front and back buffers. Uh, we'll show what happens with each uh, when you don't use either one. Okay, now the next thing um, we need to do is we're going to use types. Um, if you've ever used any other previous uh, version um, well, not really version, but any of the other Blitz products like Blitz 3D or Blitz Plus, this may be new to you. Uh, but types are essentially like classes. And we're going to call this type T player. And good practice is to generally name your types to start with a T. However, you do not have to do this. And it's set up quite simply. Use type and then end type to end it. And then we're going to use a few fields. So our type will have some variables it can access and um, I don't know let's go for five let's make it a little bit fast okay so basically we have a field that holds the X and Y position of our player and our player's speed and now we just need two states uh, one which we will use to draw our player so we we'll use method draw state And we will use method update state to keep track of our player and update our player. Okay. So at the moment, we are not going to use uh, our draw state. However, we, we went on it and added it in so we can use it later. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to set up our keyboard input. So I have decided that we will allow the player to be able to use either WSAD or the arrow keys and we will use space to fire. Okay, so if key down, key underscore up, else if key down, key underscore W, and if, and then we shall use Y. Okay, so basically what we're doing now is we're taking the Y position of our player and subtracting it from our speed. And this is actually quite simple. Um, we're just basically saying that if key is up, do this. Otherwise, if this key is up, do the same thing, obviously, just with a different key. Okay, so now we are going to um, actually use our type and assign a variable to it. So local, I'm actually going to call it player, t player, oops, sorry, t player equals new, t player. And then in order to use a method inside of a type, um, you can check my introductory tutorial series if you need to see the difference between a method and a function. Um, but the biggest key defining difference is 
is right here. We do player dot update state. And then we'll go ahead and save that. And now we are just going to draw a rectangle. Let's see. Let's put it at the middle of the screen. Let's make it 64 by 64. Oh, sorry. We don't want to do that. We want to do player dot x and player dot y. My apologies. We want to set the rectangle to be the x and y position. And you can go down here and manually assign the values to put our player in the middle of the screen. Okay. So at the moment, all we can do is move our player up. So we'll just go ahead and run this. And if we hit W, it goes up. And same thing with the arrow key. Okay, so now let's go back down here. Oops. Let's add a few comments in here. Move our player up. All right. All right, so we're going to do pretty much the exact same thing as before. And Blitzmax has a pretty uh, easy system for uh, the keyboard input. Just put key underscore and then whatever the key is called. It's actually quite uh, good. And if you've ever used any other uh, programming or you've ever done any other programming, you know using key codes can be quite a pain sometimes. And this time we want to add to it. All right, now we'll add in left and right. Key underscore A. And this time we want to use And obviously, for the sake of everything, you don't actually have to, uh, you know, you know, you don't actually have to follow this exactly. You don't have to uh, use both the arrow and WSAD, but why not? If key down is key right, else if key down is key underscore D, and if and then same thing as before. Now remember, because we're using super strict, speed with a uppercase S and lowercase are not the same. So if you get any compiling errors, make sure to check and make sure that you know everything is named accordingly. And now we will run it. Oh, sorry about that. Of course, I would leave that off twice. Okay, so now as you can see, we can now move our lovely little uh, character on screen. And we're going to do one more thing uh, before we actually uh, close out this tutorial. And that is we're going to set our app title. And this is very easy to do inside of Blitzmax. And just put app title above graphics. And if you hit F1, you can see down here app title. And all it wants is a string. So I'm going to call this Space Invaders. But you know what? I'm going to put a space in between that. And there you go. It no longer says Blitz Max. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial. And the next tutorial, we will add our player uh, and actually set up our draw state, as well as we'll also actually add a, uh, a function in here that will actually allow you to create the player and set the position without having to do all of this right here. I uh, still have to do this though, but we won't have to do that. It'll all be handled inside of the type. And we will also set up collision for our player. Okay, thank you. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. And as well, uh, I will upload all source to this project. Um, you should be able to get it down there and all media assets will also be included. Okay. And as well, uh, if you'd like to keep up to date when the next tutorial is coming out or if you have any actual suggestions uh, for a tutorial, uh, let me know. And um, 
I'll see you about doing them. Thank you.